Hello everyone and welcome to Zeppi Productions. Today we'll be looking at a product that you never think you needed it and that is the BB21 Electronic Photography Blower. Now you'll be wondering, so what's so special about this? Well, it is a blower. It is uh, meant to be used portably and uh, you know, you you can usually find these to just you know, clean your keyboards and stuff but this is a version that is actually meant for cameras. Now the thing is, uh, the biggest difference of course is the shape, you know, this is you know, elongated and slim so you can put in your bag but there are also some other features that make it more usable for the purpose of photography and carrying it around. So let's take a look at it. Now the product is of course outside here, I'll talk about the product later, let's look what's inside the box first. Now before I start, I'll say that this is provided to me by Class Distribution to actually take a look and provide a review for it. So you know, um, thanks to them, <laughs> interesting product. I never knew I needed it, well, uh, until I tried it out. So this is actually the cable that comes with it, so you can see it's very new. And then uh, some basic instructions, which uh, as usual, nobody reads. And then this is the BB21, which is a blower. The blower comes packed inside like this, and pretty much that's about it. Now, this is not important because I've been using it for a week now, and I just want to show you guys what actually does it do, right? So this is the BB21 blower, and there are a few things that really stands out to me why this is actually meant for portable usage. Firstly, I think it's designed to really slot inside your bag easily. I mean, you can see that the shape, everything is meant for easy storage. You know, there are other blowers that use the hand style or something bigger than this with some funky buttons and stuff. But this is really meant to just you know, slot in your bag very neatly in the corner or the side uh, and doesn't have any weird shape. You also notice that the blower head itself is protected by a cover and that's because you know when you expel air out you know you do not want to expel any sand out of the front uh, this cover just prevents anything from getting into the thing so you don't accidentally damage your cameras because you know you start blowing and then some particle sands hit your lens and you'll be really really sad guy this protection cover is important i mean normally blowers don't come with that there's also a filter that you can remove <laughs> So I think this is a bit more rare. Uh, I went to go and check a little bit. Most blowers, electronic blowers, do not have removable filters. Most of them do have some mesh to prevent big objects from entering, but this is a removable filter. My guess is the way it's designed is so that you know you can use your blower and clean the filter out. Then after that, of course, put it back in like this and click it back in. Or you maybe buy a replacement filter if required if the filter is damaged. Now this filter, based on what I see here, there is of course the mesh this mesh here to prevent really really big objects and there's of course the fine mesh here to prevent any small little particles I'm not sure where you can see it but you can see there's a very fine mesh inside here to prevent any further small particles that may get in and therefore you know ruin your blowing experience now you can see from the top here now this top here let me remove the cover first this is the one that controls the brush uh, it's a nice touch really and the brush is very useful I'll talk about it later when we talk about the usage itself so you can actually push the brush out push the brush in so this is something that is very common in a lot of the cleaner kits where you have the brush and then the carbon side and the brush is to brush it out but the brush with a blower uh, when I went to check so it's not that I would say it's something that do come with blowers these days, but you know, it's an attachment. This is built in, so it's really nice. I'll demonstrate to you later. And then lastly, this is the one that selects the power. So you can see easily, you know, you want one stop, two stop, or three stop of power for the blower. And then you have the on off switch. Just press and hold and fire it off. Now the charging is by USB-C and then there is a place to of course hang it around if you like it. Now, uh, this is obviously a blower that is really, really designed to be portable. Many things from the cover to the filter to the button base operation to a locking brush internally tells you that you know, this is really meant to be carried around. There are also some other things that I went to try. I mean, you know, not all USB-C charging products are built the same. So let me just show you. This is my anchor power bank. I just want to show you. This is a standard USB-C to USB-A kind of charging. So I think this one usually no problem. Most devices do charge with this easily, especially low power device. But a lot of devices are really, really finicky when it comes to, you know, pure USB-C PD power. They just don't accept PD power anyway. And I tried, and this thing is not finicky at all. You just plug in USB-C PD power from a power bank and it charges it nicely. So, uh, great, you know, it, this is not a finicky device. You just charge it. Any USB-C will do the job and charge it. You can see some lights lighting up to just tell you that it is charging itself. Now, generally, let me showcase you the power. And really showcase your power is really, you see, the blowing on the hand itself. So, if we go from one, 
you can see some slight indentation into my hand as I move around but you can also hear the sound right too you can see the indentation is quite you know, strong it is a very strong blower at number two and if I go three this is really 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 powerful right so you can see that this has some power and then with the brush you can actually just brush and clear notice that the brush is actually also being blown by the blower here so the brush is actually being cleaned by the blower so that no there will be not be sand that's and stuff sticking on the brush that may scratch your lens i mean this is predominantly a blower meant to you know sell to the camera community uh well at least you know that the brush is being blown and therefore no residues there will kind of damage your stuff itself but you can see how the usage is how powerful it is how simple it is to use and also how ergonomics because you know you hold it this way you clean it you know uh, I mean, there are many ways where you can hold it this way, hold it this way, or hold it this way if you like it. I mean, up to you. But, you know, this really kind of explains uh, the usefulness of this uh, blower and how can you hold it. But, no, now we see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see how useful, actually, when it comes to blowing a lens. Now, this is my Hasselblad. I mean, I use this camera for a long period of time. And then, there's some dust on my lens and stuff. I mean, it's natural, right? So... I mean, I'm cleaning the cover here, man. Uh, my, da my, my actual camera itself is not meant to be super dirty, but why not, right? I have actually tried it many times, and I tell you that this is very effective. A pure blower doesn't quite work out because a lot of time, some dust just is a touch more sticky and sticks on the glass. A blower and a brush is really the best option, but as I said, most of this blower and brush requires you to have additional attachment. You know, it doesn't come built in, and this is like built in, you can brush and blow, and you know, it is very convenient. Now, you'll be wondering, why not just use a standard the squeezy squeezy blower, but you know, the power is just different. See, the power here, it's just different. And with this amount of strength in terms of the power and the brush, you can most likely agitate most dirt away from your glass without ever having to resort to using a wet wipe or something along the line. But you know, I'm the type that I like to use filters, so I'll just probably use my shirt anyway. Uh, that's just how I do it, right? But, you know, this is really, really convenient. I use it for a few shoots now and I, I kind of like it. I mean, it's so convenient to put in the bag. With the filter, I know that, you know, dirt doesn't get into the blower and kind of come, kind of come out from it and then damage my stuff. But no, let's, let's do something that most of you guys are probably going to ask. Can you clean a keyboard with it? And I'll say yes. So my this S keyboard is goddamn dirty. And then you can take out the brush. I mean, I'm not going to demonstrate a whole keyboard cleaning exercise on today's video, but you get the gist. It does work and you know, my keyboard just looks way cleaner now. The, the amount of power from the fan is really significant. You can, you know, feel it and see it. As I say, once again, look at the amount of power here. It's very significant, especially when you go close and blow the dust away. I can, I can see this as a very useful product for portable usage, carrying around, cleaning your keyboards in terms of your laptops and also your camera equipment because with the blower and the brush attached, you know that you know at least your stuff here is always clean. I mean, unless it's some liquid residue such as oil on your brush itself, that is something that you have to clean separately with some sort of uh, wet wipes. But if not, you know, this kind of like keep most of your equipment relatively clean without you know, much hassle and you know, pumping strength, literally. Uh, now, the thing is that this is not like the cheapest product. I mean, I seen it online around the stores. It's about 100 Sing dollars and that translates to about uh, 70 USD. So not the exact cheapest product, but I've seen many blowers and they kind of range between affordable to 
pretty expensive. So this is somewhere in the middle, not like too cheap, but also not too expensive itself. Now, as a fuel blower, there's also another use, and that is to blow the subject itself. I mean, I'm sitting here. I can tell you that the wind is actually quite strong, and in a hot day in Singapore, this is actually useful. You can actually cool yourself down with this, though it's goddamn noisy. Um, it kind of works. I mean, I played around with my subjects in my recent UV shoot with uh, Ryuki and I kind of enjoy this. I mean, this kind of work in blowing and having some fan that, you know, you, you can use it. Uh, it's definitely way stronger than those handheld fans and it pushes a lot of air. Can you blow hair with this, for example? Uh, probably not. I mean, the, the, the wind is just like a small little cone, so you can maybe blow some of the like short hair, so something like bob hair type of character, but definitely not meant to be something meant to use as a hair blower. It doesn't quite work out very well for that. And that's about it. I mean, this is pretty much the uh, review of the BB21 from uh, Nightcore itself. And I'd like to once again thank Class Distribution for providing me this copy here to try it out and give you this review. Uh, I can tell you that this is one of these products that you never know you need it till you try it out. And once you try it out, you kind of appreciate it. Uh, everybody have a tendency to clear, clean their cameras, especially, you know, removable lenses type. Because, I mean, just look at this. There's so many things to clean. I mean, you have to clean the lens front, you remove it, you clean the sensor, and you also have to clean the back. I just literally clean the back with this blower itself. You see, now, dustless. So it is inevitable that cleaning is required. So you are going to anyway bring either a squeezy blower or this or something. You have to just bring something to clean. And for the front glass, no problem. I can use my shirt to clean. But for the back glass, because while changing the lens, maybe dust got into it, whatever it is, you need to blow, use a blower. You really do not want to use wet wipes or any form of contact cleaning at the rear element or on the sensor itself. Minimize the contact cleaning for those parts. When you need to do contact cleaning, there are solutions. I'll talk about it in future videos. Uh, but today, BB21 does get a job done for rear element cleaning, sensor cleaning using the blower, and it is good and strong. And that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. video. And uh, this is the BB21 from Nightcore. Hopefully you kind of understand where I'm coming from because this is an interesting one. Now, I do wonder, I do really wonder, do they sell replacement filters? And do they give a filter that is more fine? I do not know. Maybe there's some use to it. This probably can use to blow smoke too. Hmm. Like, like, like you know, diffuse the smoke in the air. But that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this short, short little video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.